like sun was ahead across the hill behind Jerusalem. The city was a white jewel pronged by the great stone wall around it. Joseph pulled the ass to the side of the road because the pilgrims behind him were shouting. Without turning from the scene, he moved back along the flank of the ass until he touched Mary's hand. Jerusalem, he said again. He said it as though it were an earthly anteroom to paradise, as indeed it was. The sun would be gone in ten minutes and there was much to see because he could not stay in Jerusalem. His destination, Bethlehem, was still five miles to the south, but he did not mind the night walk if he could stop a moment and drink in all of this and remember it when he was old. His eyes and Mary's too moved into darting glances and they longed to exclaim to each other, but there were no words. This was where God lived. They had been told many times that he did not live in the little synagogues around the country of Judea and far out in the diaspora. The synagogues were there to remind the Jews of God, to remind them of their duty never to live more than 90 days travel from the great temple of Jerusalem, never to fail whenever possible to go to Jerusalem for the Passover. Each 